Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome to Shop Dog Fabrication. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is working on uh, actually my air compressor a little bit. Um, I ordered a couple of filters to replace the one that uh, is on there. Um, and I'll show you here in a second what the original one looks like in the replacements. But the ones that I ordered actually were smaller than the original. So I've got uh, an old Campbell, Campbell Hopsfield uh, 60 gallon air compressor, five horse. And you know, it takes a pretty good filter um, on this thing, uh, pretty good sized. And I'm actually unscrewing it real quick. Uh, I had it loose already. And I'm gonna show you the ones that I got, um, you know, here in a second. Uh, so you'll see that they're actually quite a bit smaller. Of course, I got them off Amazon. And uh, what I need to do is show how what I'm gonna do to actually make those two kind of replace one. Um, what I'm going to do is kind of, I had a couple of pieces of black pipe lying around and a couple of uh, uh, screw fittings. So I'm basically going to take those two and replace one so it'll help muffle and obviously bring uh, nice clean air into the air compressor. Um, and I'll show you actually why I'm doing it because the, the filter I had on there, I, I painted a car and I have forgotten to really clean it. and, and the paint got on that filter, you know, pretty heavy and it's actually restricting the, the airflow into the compressor. Um, so, um, all right, so what you see here is basically um, the filter on the right, this one right here, uh, you can see is actually quite larger than the original ones. And these are the two that I got from Amazon. So basically what I'm gonna do is I, again, I had these pipes lying around and you can see I've got two half inch 90 degrees. Uh, I've got the fitting here in the middle. I believe this is about a two inch wide one. And then I've got this uh, about one and a half inch one here. This might even be two and a half. But basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole right here uh, in the bottom. I'm gonna take this, weld it to here. And really this isn't a structural piece or anything. Again, it's just screwing into the compressor and allowing air to flow in. So what, I had, what had happened originally Again, is let me kind of pop this off. Apologize for the camera jiggling around. I should have had this loose. Is I let my filter get nice and black. Um, you know, these are actually replacement. You know, you can get these for like nine bucks as well on Amazon. I think I got the two of these for like five or six dollars, you know, shipped to the house. So while they are a little bit smaller, you know, really the amount of air and the filter space and everything is about the same. So, and I had these parts lying around, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Now, if you wanna increase your airflow into your compressor with the bigger ones, you know, you can do basically the same thing because this fitting is the same as these. So down the road, by having this larger fitting here, I can screw two of these big ones in and again, allow plenty of airflow in. So this is just a simple, inexpensive modification that you can make to your air compressor. And actually I'll walk over and I'll show you my air compressor here real quick. You know, again, here's my air compressor, um, you know, Campbell Hosfeld, you know, the five horse. Um, and I actually have a fan mounted on mine. Um, to help keep this all cool. Um, this thing is, you know, it's pretty old and she likes to get warm. Uh, and if she gets too warm, basically she'll kick off. So, you know, I've got a simple fan wired up. So when I know I'm gonna be using it a bunch, I'll plug in the fan, keep the whole thing cool, and it works really good. So what I'll do is uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling the hole. Back over to this. Um, drilling the hole basically in the bottom here the bottom here sorry um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and weld this to it and then I'll go ahead and take some tape you know tape all this up screw this all in and basically screw it in the compressor and again it'll help allow plenty of air to come in um, you know and these are real expensive to replace in the future you know for like six bucks then I can put them in there or if I happen to come across a couple of the big ones you know I've got plenty of space to screw the big ones in and allow more good clean air to come into the compressor so with that let me go ahead and make some modifications and then I'll show you what the end result looks like so what I've done now is I've gone ahead and clamped the, the work the piece into the vise and what I'm going to do is take uh, my center punch here. Um, so kind of stick it right about here and go ahead and center punch this so I can basically get my drill to bite. So that'll be the first thing I'll do. And then from there, I'll go ahead and drill it. 
Again, this is, a, for those of you who don't know, these are spring-loaded. Uh, this happens to be a real nice Starrett one. Uh, you can go to Harbor Freight and pick up an inexpensive one. Or what you can do is take an old broken chisel, uh, or I should say punch. Um, you can basically grind the tip and, you know, give it a smack with a hammer and do the same thing. So from there, I'll go ahead and drill this hole out, you know, to pretty large size, probably um, roughly close to half an inch diameter. And that'll give plenty of, you know, room for the air to flow in. All right, so what I'm basically doing now is starting off with a smaller drill. Kind of creating my pilot hole, if you will. Now I'll just start stepping up in drill bit size until I get the desired hole size. And I should actually be wearing my cut proof gloves um, that I have. Let me take actually a quick second from a safety standpoint. Uh, I hate to get sliced, you know, popping these drill bits in and out real quick. Again, the, you can get these kind of uh, cut proof gloves on Amazon as well, and I'll pop in a, a link for these uh, so you can kind of see them. You know, they're fabric on the back side. You know, they, I shouldn't say cut proof, but you know, these will definitely do a, a lot nicer if you're using razor blades. You know, if you kind of put your hand on here and you accidentally hit it, you don't want to, won't help slice your finger open. So these are actually really nice gloves to have. And they're, you know, they're pretty flexible, pretty ambidextric, so, you know, they don't restrict you too much. This here, like I should have in the first place. we got yeah we can go just a little bit larger so see if I do have a larger bit there we go this one I think will do it unless this is the same size Actually, you get the size that I'm looking for and that pretty much does it right there so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my welder I'll mount this back on the welding bench and go ahead and just kind of take a bead weld around this whole thing and then basically all we need to do is screw this back together so hang tight and uh, pause this I'll get set up in the other one and then basically we'll weld it all right so we've got the welder all set up. Um, we basically got the workpiece set in the clamp. I've got my ground clamp actually on the work table. So this should all be grounded. And then basically I'm gonna weld right here, uh, these two pieces together. So this piece will screw into the compressor. Then basically to my 290s will go here like this. And then of course I'll screw the filters into that. And then I'll basically take some of this tape, tape it all up and the project will be done. So just a quick little simple project. Oh, probably help if I plug the welder in. All right, let's try it again. There we go.
And there we have it. So what I'll do is I'll let this cool down here for a few minutes. We'll clean this up real quick. And then, like I said, I'll pretty much thread this up and show you the finished product as it's screwed into. Interesting spot today because both of these games are rematched. All right. So here it is basically assembled. Uh, now, the one thing I forgot to mention is, you know, I had these pieces just lying around my garage. Um, you might be able to go to, you know, your local hardware store, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, whatever. And this might be a tee that you can just purchase and then do a couple of 90s, you know, and basically just screw it all together. Um, where I went ahead, I, like I said, I had these lying around my shop. I went ahead and just welded this up real quick, you know, added the Teflon tape to it. And now basically I'm going to walk over, screw it into the compressor, and then uh, we'll be done with it. So we'll just pop this in here. And yeah, I got the football game in the background, um, or at least this, it's getting ready to start. Sorry about that. I uh, probably should maybe redo this, but I won't. Let me just go ahead and pause it or turn the volume off. Um, so there you can more or less see here it is, you know, and I'll just bend these a little bit to kind of get the desired height. So there we go. Simple modification, something real quick and easy. Now, you know, where I had the one before, now I've got the two coming in. And yeah, I bent them a little bit as I did this, but uh, that's okay. Um, like I said, now, at least now I've got good volume going into the, whoops, that I've got good volume going into the compressor. Um, you know, and we'll go from there. So again, this is my first ever video on shop dog fabrication. Uh, as they say, please like, subscribe, all that stuff. Put your comments in there. Uh, I'll be doing additional videos, um, you know, on my shop, things that I do, but also on my drag week car. Um, you know, what I'm trying to do to make it better for drag week, uh, make it quicker each year, um, that kind of thing. So anyway, peace out. Have a great time. Go out in your shop and make something.